This Totowatorial is brought to you by the Totowa Public Library. Remember when the only way to find a book at your library was to physically search through a card catalog? Nowadays, at the Totowa Public Library, you don't even have to leave the comfort of your home to find out if a book, movie, or audiobook you're interested in is available. Simply go to our website at totowapl.org to get started. Click on Catalog in the upper right hand corner. This will bring you to the catalog for all of the libraries in the PALS Plus Consortium. Along the right side of the screen, you can see a list of all the libraries that are part of this network. From here, you can start searching for the materials you want, or browse through the selections of new books, new DVDs, or new audiobooks that are featured on the homepage. In order to search through the PALS Plus Consortium's digital collection for books or audiobooks that you can download and read on your device, you can click on the Digital Collection buttons at the bottom of the homepage. Clicking Main Collection will bring you to OverDrive. For a full tutorial video on how to use OverDrive for digital materials, check out the video on our channel, which is linked in the description. If you are looking for physical books located at a library, you can search here in the catalog. You can search through all materials, or search in a specific category, such as books, CDs, DVDs, audiobooks, large print books, or juvenile books. You can also search by title, author, subject, or the ISBN if you have it. On your search results page, the column on the left side of the page gives you many options to refine your search results. You can limit results to a particular library location, materials, authors, language, series, subject, and more. In order to limit your search to just the items that are physically located in the Totowa Public Library, click View All under Library. Check the box for Totowa and then click Include at the top. Now your search results will be limited to Totowa specifically. This is particularly useful if interlibrary loans are temporarily suspended, like they are currently in order to help stop the spread of COVID-19. If you look at the middle of the page, you will see your search results. Underneath the title of the item, you will see the format listed with a symbol. The book symbol means that this is a physical book at the library. This symbol that looks like a CD means that this is an audio recording on CD located at a library. This symbol depicting an arrow pointing down is the download symbol, indicating that this item is a downloadable ebook. This symbol that looks like a pair of headphones indicates that the item is a downloadable digital audiobook recording. Let's start with a physical book. If we click on the search result, we can see the details of that item, including its full availability, as well as information such as a summary and reviews of the book. Under availability, we can see exactly which libraries have this book, how many copies are available, and whether it is currently checked out or in transit between libraries. Some books also have a preview available. Click on preview or Google preview to view a selection of pages from the beginning of the book to help you decide if you'd like to read it. If you want to borrow this book from a library, you can select the drop-down menu under Select an Action and click Place Hold. Enter your library card number as well as your PIN number, which should be the last four digits of your phone number. If you are not sure what your four-digit PIN number is, contact the library to find out. Next, select at which library you would like to pick up your item when it becomes available. Then click Place Hold. It was successful. Now we can click OK and continue browsing. At this time, interlibrary loans are on hold until further notice in order to help stop the spread of COVID-19. However, you may be able to place holds on books located at the Totowa Library that you would like to borrow, and then retrieve the books you ordered through a new curbside pickup service. Please refer to our website at totowapl.org or our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram for the most up-to-date information and full details on these procedures. This process of placing holds is the same for DVDs and audiobooks on CD. It works in very much the same way for digital copies. When we click on this search result, we can see that this version of The Dutch House is a digital version, an ebook. This means you can download it and read it on your PC, e-reader, or other mobile device. 
Just like we did for the physical book, we can click place hold. This time we will need to enter our email address. If the ebook is currently available to download instantly, we can select download instead of place hold. Then you can choose which format you would like to download. If you are on a computer, the easiest way to start reading your book right away is to select HTML. A new window will open in your browser where you can read the book you've borrowed. You can skip around by clicking the links in the table of contents, or simply click the page on the right to turn the pages of the book. Click on the three little lines in the top right hand corner to open up a menu with different options to help make your reading experience extra convenient and customized to your preferences. Use the search tool to search the entire book for words or phrases. You can also use the bookmark function to mark certain pages that you want to remember for later. You can also select reading settings to change the way that the text appears on screen. Drag the slider for text scale to make the letters larger or smaller. Lighting for the page can be easily changed as well by selecting a bright, sepia, or dark lighting scheme. You can even select what font you'd like to read in. There are many different options for book design, including Open Dyslexic, which helps increase the readability of text for readers with dyslexia. You can also select Custom to explore various fonts you might prefer, and change line spacing and boldness as well. Select Offline Access to download the ebook to your browser so that you will be able to read it while not connected to the internet. You can instantly borrow and listen to audiobooks on your computer as well. The headphone symbol next to Format indicates that this is a digital audiobook. You can listen to a short preview of this audiobook to get an idea of how it will sound, and you can do this through a few different options. When you click Check Out, you also get to choose from a couple different options. You can download the audiobook as an MP3 or use Overdrive Listen right in your browser. With the in browser audiobook player, you can customize your listening experience. Click on the three lines in the top right hand corner to bring up the menu. You can jump to a particular chapter, add bookmarks that you can return to later, and find out more ways to control your listening experience, such as dragging to move forward or backward, switching to simple mode, cycling the clock, or adjusting the speed at which you listen. Click the speedometer symbol at the top to increase the speed or go back to the normal speed. Other actions you can do on the item page include adding this item to lists. On the catalog website, you can create lists of materials for your own reference, such as books you might want to read this year or books that friends have recommended to you. You can also create temporary lists to organize later. We can check the status of our holds and checkouts by clicking My Account in the upper right-hand corner of the page. On the My Account page, you can see your personal info and set preferences. You can also see your library checkouts as well as your digital checkouts, as well as the dates when they need to be returned. If you would like to renew an item that you have checked out, you can also do this online without needing to call or come into the library. Simply select the materials you would like to renew and click Renew. The website will also let you know whether you have hit the limit for renewing a particular item. Thanks to this feature, you can renew materials that you have checked out without having to leave home. For our digital checkouts, some of these can be returned early by clicking the checkbox and clicking Return. However, some materials cannot be returned early and will be automatically returned at the end of the loan period. Under Holds, you can see what holds you have placed on books and whether or not they are available. The PALS Plus online system makes borrowing and reserving both physical and digital materials so easy. But believe it or not, there are some even more convenient ways available to browse and instantly borrow digital materials such as ebooks, audiobooks, and even music and movies. Subscribe to the Totoa Public Library's YouTube channel for more helpful Totoa tutorials on how to use Overdrive, Libby, and Hoopla Digital. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the library very soon.